you know, the death and the pain and, and, and the humanity in people on both sides that showed you that it was really a fraud, right? Because, I mean, there has to be legitimate suffering as well. How does suffering enter into that? Because it was your suffering in the solitary confinement that helped makes you find that, uh, that quiet place uh, of the most high, right? I decided it wasn't suffering anymore. I decided I didn't want to suffer. I decided that I want to be happy, and I chose to do it. And it's not automatic. It's a discipline. But we will never control what the world does to us. We will never control our circumstances as much as we would like to. And we will also never control our animalistic reactions and responses to these stimuli. But our conscientious response, as long as we remember this, is always our choice. Our attitude is always our choice. And when you internalize that and you decide that you are going to live by the discipline of happiness or the discipline of living well, of living deliberately, of being internally, psychologically, emotionally, and spiritually free, then everything falls into place. It's a discipline, but it's a choice. And it's if, if, if you're saying no, if you're saying, oh, no, I can't do that, I haven't suffered enough. No, I mean, it's just like exercise or sports or, or, or in a fight with somebody if somebody starts a fight and they get you down they're kicking your butt you just it's like flipping a switch you go i'm gonna stomp this guy on the ground you flip the switch and, and it's the same thing politically we got to flip the switch get out of the fear and get aggressive because we've got those animalistic drives as well to drive us with an intellectual cerebral cortex on the front to direct it and government wants to keep us as dumb, stupid animals, to be pawns in their foreign policy, to be pawns in their domestic policy, to be good little slave citizens, to continue to be exploited. And as soon as you realize that you don't have to live that way, that it is a choice that is it just essential to the human experience, that every human mind has Exactly. No, it does empower you. I can't tell you how many unhappy people that had wealth, you name it, find uh, God, find prayer, uh, find resistance, find admitting the world's run by evil people is not a scary experience at many levels. It's empowering to yeah. just be honest and just and just step up. And that's what's empowering people, Adam. Absolutely. And, and, and for me, meditation was an important part of that. And it, and it gave me a, a sort of rebirth of spirituality. It was a very important epiphany. But, you know, I'm living it now. And there's there's nothing that, that can slow me down. There's nothing that can stop me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely loving life like never before. And, and I, I take it now as part of my mission to be able to share this with people. And for all the people that, that, that see those emotional responses of their own and go, well, you know, what do we do? What do we do? Well, the, you know, before you can ever be a, a warrior for truth in any way. You have to master a certain amount of, of, of self-discipline and be, be able to take charge of your own psyche, you know, to be internally free. And it, and it is a discipline and it is a practice, but it, every time you can think about exactly what I'm saying in the moment is all you have to do is decide to be happy. All you have to do is make that choice and you can take charge of, of your own mind and your own attitude and your own outlook. And when you're able to do that, you're able to be truly free. All right, I want to close on this. I'm going to come back in the next segment, the segment after that, and finish with the callers, Michael and David and Anthony and Peachy and Jason. I promise I'll get to all of you. But Adam, what about this? Some libertarian free people say, oh, have an abortion, it's your choice, even though it's a bad form of birth control, but the social engineers want that. But then if you really realize that is a baby, separate heartbeat, separate human, when you start killing, and we've done the math now from the UN's own side, it's 2 billion 250 million, they estimate, in the last 50 years, 50 million a year. And now it's kill old people. Now it's babies aren't humans till age three. So, I mean, people, uh, there's really no debate. You can argue you have a right to kill your baby. But, uh, you know, in the final equation, it's saying they have a right to kill us and that we're all garbage and they're going to abort humanity. What is your view on abortion? Well, human life certainly starts in conception, and abortion is, is ending a human life. And uh, I think once you uh, establish that, you know, there, there are, uh, you know, different circumstances that dictate different things. And the more we get the government involved in it, you know, the more death we're going to have, the more. Uh, in, in, oh, yeah, government's pushing it. Well, I like that response because no one can deny that they're pushing abortion. No one can deny that, that this is a human. And if you really are into individuals, and you're really into defending the weak, we've lost 55 million Americans we'll never meet or know here. And, 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 and they could empower people when you industrialize, give people wealth, they stop having kids anyways. So yeah. it, it's pure bull. Empower humanity now. Go ahead. Absolutely. No. And there's a great temptation 
to you know deal with the difficult situations where abortion may be medically necessary and when you when you entrust those decisions instead of to mothers but and that's not abortion if it's going to kill the mother and the baby right. it's, it's not abortion okay well actually i really appreciate that i've never heard that concept as, as redefining it that way but as soon as you get government but they don't even really call, they call it an emergency procedure to save the mother and sorry the baby didn't make it in the procedure because you're right. both going to die anyways right Oh, no, and that's a very good point. You could redefine it and say that's not abortion. In that case, you're, you're absolutely right. Then abortion would be never called for. But as No, soon I mean, as you, you go in and, the, and, the, and they try to keep the baby alive. It doesn't live. It's a, I mean, that's, the, that's another issue. As soon as you allow government to dictate when that's okay and when it's not, then everything is okay, and government is the ultimate excuse for immorality. Yeah, and and, and, then, and the pro killers use the example of that as a, as a worst case to, 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 to win the fake argument. And the whole point is, if we kill 55 million Americans, I, I mean, you know, th this is this is saying we're trash and we're not trash. Adam Kokesh, thank you so much. And the market, there's more people wanting to adopt each year than there are abortions. What's making Americans sick and fat? It's too many GMO foods and toxins destroying our digestive systems, causing poor digestion and suppressed immune systems. A suppressed immune system prevents clear thinking and the ability to fight the corporate and big pharma agendas. Detox now with Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 liquid probiotic is wheat, dairy, and soy-free, gluten-free, and made with all non-GMO certified organic ingredients. Pro-EM1's power is based in good bacteria, live microbes, and all their metabolites, including vitamins, amino acids and enzymes that support a healthy digestive system, suppress pathogens, and eliminate toxins. Pro-EM1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com, or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. If you're a baby boomer or senior, please listen closely to this important message. Politicians in Washington are quietly plotting to decrease your Social Security payments drastically, and they want to do it soon. In fact, despite rising prices at the gas pump, grocery store, and doctor's office, retirees have received a mere 1.3% annual increase to their Social Security checks. Meanwhile, food stamp recipients have seen their payouts increase over 30% under the Obama administration. That's shocking. So when we stumbled upon a weird trick that could add up to $1,000 to your monthly Social Security checks, we knew we had to share it with you. To get started, simply go to MyBenefits311.com. Yes, it's true. You can take simple steps that could add up to $1,000 to your monthly Social Security payouts. Newsmax says MyBenefits311.com is a critical resource for anyone over 50. Go to MyBenefits311.com now. That's MyBenefits311.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. The reason they're not groping devout religious Muslims wearing ceremonial uh, classic garb is because the Muslims won't put up with it. Just like illegal aliens just run when CPS tries to take their kids, so CPS doesn't feed on them very much from the numbers I've seen. And we act like slaves, so we are slaves. I mean, land of the free, home of brave, what a joke. I'm going to your calls, but State Department silent on VIP treatment for Muslim Brotherhood, Infowars.com. Poll, more Americans dissatisfied with government than at any time since 9-11. LAPD cops shoot down or stood down minutes before TSA shootings. That thing is very suspicious, folks.
Airport security worried about reporters, not Muslim Brotherhood. That's powerful video. Top 1% has 65 times more wealth than the bottom half of the global elite. And they like it that way. Shows how there's absolute centralization of wealth through fraud. And then there's a chart that really scares the government. I'm out of time. I got to go to your phone calls as promised. Uh, there's the nightly news coming up tonight, 7 o'clock central. And again, um, we've got some articles up on InfoWars about the robot takeover, but Drudge really has them. I'm going to ask Watson to do a story on this. We've done a lot of stories, but it's all there. 70% of jobs can be automated. Army considers replacing thousands of troops with robots, robot cars, robot uh, combat mechs, everything. That, that's really important right there. Um, let's go to your calls. Uh, let's go to uh, Michael in North Dakota. Thanks for holding. I'm sorry I got to you late. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. Uh, Long-time listener here, first-time caller. Um, I just wanted to offer you a different angle on the abortion issue. Um, I'm 25 years old. I uh, come from a Native American heritage. Uh, <clears throat> when I was younger, growing up, my grandma, she played a large part in my upbringing, and she is a traditional medicine woman. So as a child, she would always offer me uh, little gems of wisdom here and there, just growing up, just different things from our heritage. And one of them, being on the abortion issue <clears throat> was uh, whenever you get an abortion, the spirit of the child doesn't pass onto the spirit world. It kind of just stays with you and follows you around all your life and just wonders why you abandoned them, why you rejected them. And, uh, you know. <clears throat> well, that's I'm what not... most women say. They get haunted. And, and they don't tell you that at Planned Parenthood, whether it's psychological or not. Either way you cut it, uh, it's uh, not a good deal. Right. Yeah, and me myself, I'm not clairvoyant. I don't. I'm only human. I don't know what's after this. But you know, that little piece of wisdom always stuck with me all my life. And I was young, probably. I don't know. I, I can't remember what I was. I was young, and uh, you know, she always told me that a child is a blessing that the Creator bestows upon us. You know, and when it comes to abortion, like I'm against it. You know, it's not only murder, but I don't want to go the rest of my life with that karma following. Well, that's right. And, and, and either way you look at it, it's bad mojo. And we as this world have billions of dead babies that we've killed and said didn't have value. And so the world says we don't have value. I mean, it's real simple. We start treating children like dog droppings. We're dog droppings. I appreciate your fine points. Great call. Thank you for holding to tell us that. David in Arkansas, you're on the air worldwide. Thank you for calling. All right. Thank you. Uh on the abortion issue, as far as me and the wife, we're against it. Uh, I have a, my wife, she gave up a baby, excuse me, for adoption when she was 16. And uh, me and my wife got married two years after she gave that baby up for adoption. Uh, we wound up with five beautiful daughters and a son. And 21 years later was... Uh, reunited with the daughter that she gave up for adoption, who in turn found out that she had, I'm sorry, she had five brothers or five sisters and a brother. Beautiful. You know, she could have, you know, she could have done different things, but her choice right off the bat was... Choose life, stay there. I want to hear more about this. We're going to come right back to you briefly, David, and then we'll go to Jason and others. So touching just to, to just to bet on life. Double down against the evil. Visit GCNlive.com today. Don't listen to all the Pharisee churches trying to make you feel bad. Just commit to good. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. 
Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network.